What are the key benefits of a full digital workflow for the surgeons? So digital workflow forces surgeons to a precise analyze of their cases and this is for me the main benefit much more than the printing itself. A digital workflow allows for a full, full customization of our treatment with evident improvement in the precision of surgical procedures, more accurate and predictable results, time saving in the operating room, less perioperative stress for the surgeon, and that's also important, and less postoperative complications for the patient. What percentage of implants are 3D printed today? It depends on what kind of implants. Reconstruction implants, as for, as for example, cranioplasty models, chin or zygomatic implants, orbital modules in case of post-traumatic sequela are nowadays patient-specific in about all the cases. On the other hand, custom-made plates are only used in selected cases. But the fact that we nowadays have an easy access to these 3D technologies prompts us to uh, use them more and more, even in simple cases. So what does this mean for the education of young doctors? Has this changed over the years? In-house 3D printing facilities allow for keeping the know-how inside the team and this is absolutely mandatory in a university hospital department where future specialists are trained. 3D printing technologies have become everyday practice and it is important that young doctors know about this technology. We created two years ago a university degree in medical 3D printing that has already allowed to train about 20 surgeons from different specialties such as orthopedists, maxillofacial surgeons, neurosurgeons, oral surgeons and so on. How do patients benefit and what about cost? So advantages for the patients are improved precision, of course, more predictable results, shortening of the operating time, less complications or reoperations, no second surgical site in case of custom-made reparation module. Concerning treatment costs, in-house designing and printing allows for a clear lowering of the costs. Concerning complex and expensive printing technologies such as metal printing, for example, partnerships with manufacturers are possible in order to share the fabrication costs. We, for example, developed partnerships with manufacturers where we design the implants and the manufacturer print them at reduced prices. Are patients better informed today than five years ago? And what does it mean for you and your colleagues? I would say yes and no. Internet has dramatically facilitated the access to medical information, but there are also many false information in these sites. Nothing will replace the face-to-face -face information a patient may get from his surgeon and we spend today more and more time to explain our patients what is true and what is fake. The technical installations here in Besançon are highly impressive and one can imagine that production of cutting guides and implants is highly time-consuming. Is this time compensated by somebody or does the reimbursement system need to change? Thank you, Peter, for your question. Yeah. Planification of procedures, including 3D printing, is for now very poorly taken in charge by the French national health system. And this is a real problem for the valorization of uh, this activity. Even if uh, these bad conditions and uh, an in-house printing platform may largely be on financial equilibrium, not because it earns money, these platforms don't, don't sell anything, but because it helps to lower expenses. Planification allows for saving about 20% of these devices, resulting in a cost reduction of about 200,000 euros per year that covers easily all the costs of our platform. How will the collaboration between industry and institutions look like in the future? So homemade printing and industrial printing are not in concurrence, but should be considered as complementary. First of all, all the medical teams, and I mainly think about private practitioners, are not willing to go into this homemade process and they will remain good customers for uh, the industry. Secondly, mainly because of the very high costs of some printing technologies and because of the very demanding regulation, a large number of medical devices such as class 2B and class 3 devices will not be produced in in-house 
But for sure, relations between teams equipped with these in-house planning and printing facilities and medical device manufacturers are changing, moving from a classical customer to manufacturer relation to a real partnership. Professor Mayer, thank you so much for this very deep insight into a highly interesting topic that's not just interesting right now, but even more so in the future. Thank you very much.